most animals kill only in proportion to their needs. Others kill out of fear. But this fear causes an illness that festers when not addressed. Nanoholuk understood that the only cure was to make the wrong right. Well, this is the place. I'm gonna start a fire so we don't freeze to death out here. Hope the ride wasn't too bumpy. I promise I will never complain about Montreal public transport again. Come on, it wasn't that bad. Mmm. Okay, maybe it was that bad. So why do you want to show me this place? What's so special about it? Remember that symbol you showed me from the terror? I've heard elders talk about seeing something similar at this Inuksuk. Okay, I guess I can take a look around. Nookshook means? Not sure really, but whatever it is, it's not a good omen. What makes you say that? For the Inuit people, human-shaped Inuksuk sometimes act as a warning. Someone may have died here or they were murdered. Now their spirit is haunting this place. got there? I found something between the stones of this Inuksuk, some kind of tin cylinder. It's got a note inside written in English. Well, are you going to show me this letter or are we just going to stand around till we freeze to death? Sure, take a look. See that symbol? Looks kind of like the one from the boat, right? Commander? One moment, William. Let me finish my message. And enough with this commander nonsense. Yeah. What is it? Sir, this place is exposed. And with this blizzard coming, shouldn't we think about leaving soon? Indeed we should. The problem is Suluk. His condition has deteriorated, and he's too weak to walk. To not worry about me. Same. My journey goes more far than here. I hope so, Suluk, because I... Suluk? Damn. He's fallen unconscious. William, quickly. There's something wrong. I'll do my best, Commander, but the Inuit have been showing signs of weakness for some time now. We all have. But this is different. It's not just exhaustion. It's... Well, I don't know what it is. <laughs> Some doctor you are. I never claimed to be a doctor, you raggedy ass. Enough bickering. There has to be a rational explanation. If there is, we may not have time to look for it. We're freezing out here. We must find some way to help the Inuit. They're counting on us. Reuben, see if there's anything we can do for them. Aye, sir.
Commander, if we have to leave now, I'd like to give a few things to our friends. You're a fine lad, Reuben. I was thinking along the same lines. What do you propose? I'm not sure. A lamp could be useful in the dark. Binoculars might help them spot game and plan a route ahead. But with them too weak to hunt right now, I think some of our food would be helpful too. Commander, I appreciate the help these folks have given us, but that's more than we owe them. We have to think of ourselves right now. We'll need that food if we're to reach the mainland. We've travelled side by side for months, Josephus. Have you no compassion for your fellow man? Reuben, do as you see fit. I trust you to help the Inuit without endangering us. Understood, Commander. for the food, Hallukallah, even if it burns my stomach. I'll admit it's not fine dining, but I hope it helps you and your people, Atuat. I only wish there were more we could do. Concerned, at what? I am, William. I can hardly see Suluk's homonik. His homonik? Homonik means light. I can feel his light weakening. I'm worried about him. What do you think, William? You don't buy this talk of curses, do you? I'm no doctor, Commander. And I'm no commander, William. But we're making do as best as we can. Come. Speak your mind. I've spent enough time with doctors to see how the human body can confound men of science. But in the end, there's always an explanation for everything. Any thoughts? Scurvy, botulism, Typhoid, maybe. For now, I have no idea what the disease is. Those medical books we brought from the ship's library could shed some light on the matter.
Well, William, what's your verdict? We can rule out scurvy, typhoid, or dysentery. The only possible diagnosis left would be some sort of poisoning. It is a sickness of the unbelievers. It devours them from within. Better that we don't risk catching it. Please, Henry, spare us the sermon. Are you going to show me this letter, or are we just going to stand around till we freeze to death? Sure, take a look. See that symbol? Looks kind of like the one from the boat, right? If the sailors left cans here, it must have been for a reason. Maybe they got sick of eating the same old stuff? Take it from someone who worked freelance. Eating crap is better than starving to death. Didn't one of the scientists say something about canned goods in the 19th century? Maggie, I think. I, I don't know. They always make me stay with the Zodiac. It was the sealing process. The lead they used to seal the cans contaminated the food. European sailors back then would have built up a tolerance for lead. But for the Inuit, it would have been a hell of a shock to the system. You could be onto something there. Take a look at these cans for me. Does anything strike you as odd about them? Let me see. You're right, sir. 
The lead solder on the cans is damaged. It's turned green. It's flaking. But if it's the canned food, why aren't we sick too? We've been eating it for years. That's precisely it. We each had a lifetime eating slop on the Navy. Or as the Inuit who lived off the land. That might explain why it's affected them as it has. We must get rid of these tainted preserves. From now on, we eat only what we hunt. Remarkable, Commander. You may just have saved Suluk and the Inuit from certain death. Friends, this Inuksuk had you lost all hope for me? <laughs> we thought you entered the spirit world, Suluk, but your helmet shines again. What's so funny? For us, man shaped Inuksuit can be a reminder that someone has passed. It's like waking up finding your friends but crossed in ground above your head. But you are an Anikatu Tsulu, a dead man brought back to life. If that's so, let's replace this symbol with an Inuksuk that will indicate to our destination. Very well. I'll leave a message for the rescue party. Gentlemen, empty one of the boats. Suluk and his people have dragged our sorry arses this far. It's time we return the favor. Ta-da! Well, bravo, I guess? You ask why I brought you here. I'm trying to show you. The film reel looks ancient. You sure it's okay to put it up there like that? What? Like I'm gonna unspool it on the ground? Nah, this way you can see the whole thing. What whole thing? The whole story. Can you stop talking in riddles for one minute and tell me what any of this has to do with the terror? I was building up to that. Jeez, you're ruining the suspense. Remember when I found that tin cylinder in the Inuksuk? There was a note inside. Here. It's that symbol again. See, as soon as you showed it to me, I remembered hearing stories about it showing up here. It didn't mean much at the time, but well, there it is. Incredible. This is incredible. Borealis. What the hell is that? Hey, don't mess with that. That one's never been opened. I don't even know what's on it. Sammy, this film, you said it was from your aunt? More of a family friend. She gave it to me when I was a kid because I used to love the story it told. The weird thing is, she contacted me a few days ago and asked if I still had it. She said I should keep it with me, that someone would be interested in it. Guess she was talking about you. But how could she have known? 
She knows all kinds of things. Do you think she might know anything about the terror? Maybe you could ask her yourself. She lives pretty far away, though, a place southeast of here. How does she feel about visitors? So long as you like hearing old stories, you'll get on like a house on fire. There's another reel, too, but this one's sealed. I've never been able to get it developed. Well, I... I guess I could help with that. It's gonna cost a fortune, but that's what company credit cards are for. Operation Borealis has to do with the Franklin Expedition? It's a lead I'm following up. It's... It's kind of hard to explain. Try me. It looks like they may have headed south after they abandoned the Terror. So what? I sent you to be there when they brought the ship out of the water. Think about it, David. No one's ever accounted for all of the crew of the Terror. And we might have found evidence that they had help in surviving. Uh, I suppose there might be a story there, but, but where were they going? That I don't know, but I think I could find out. I just need a couple of things from you. What kind of things are we talking? First, I have a reel of film I want to send your way. I'd like to have it develop ASAP. This is all suspiciously reasonable so far. Also... I need some funds. I was hoping I could use the magazine's credit card. <laughs> there it is. All right, how much? And who are you paying it to? A good journalist never reveals her sources. <laughs> Since when are you a good journalist? I won't screw up, David. I promise. <laughs> 